Welcome to the Hydra Makeup Lab. Observe the Hydra for five minutes. Draw the Hydra every minute. Hydra are from the phylum Nidaria and can be found in most freshwater ponds, lakes, and streams in temperate and tropical regions. They are multicellular organisms that are typically 2 to 10 millimeters long. Hydra have 1 to 12 tentacles, and scientists are interested in them because they do not age or die of old age. Notice the brown spots on its tentacles. These are the nematocysts, or stinging cells, of the hydra. When prey comes in contact with a nematocyst, they touch a trigger that releases a poisonous barb. This barb can paralyze the prey so it can be eaten. Hydra have no supporting framework and therefore can change shape readily. If the hydra is alarmed or attacked, the tentacles can be retracted to small buds, and the body column can be retracted into a small sphere. Hydra are typically sessile, but can detach themselves from a substrate if in danger or hunting for food. Hydra can reproduce asexually by budding or sexually by combining sperm and egg with another hydra. Hydra are hermaphrodites, so they can produce both sperm and eggs, but they still need another hydra to exchange sperm or eggs with. Jar the side of the microscope. How does the hydra respond? Use the probe to touch the hydra. How does the hydra respond? First, I'll touch the tentacles. Notice how the tentacles move in response to the probe. Next, I will touch the mid-body. Last, I will touch the basal disc. Notice the new shape the hydra has become. Shine a light on one side of the hydra. How does it respond? I just turned on the light. Did the hydra notice a difference? Feed your hydra. 
how does it respond? Ah, it got it. Hydra feed on small aquatic invertebrates like Daphnia and Cyclops. We will be feeding the Hydra a Daphnia, also known as a water flea. Hydra can extend their tentacles four to five times their body length to catch food. Once a tentacle comes in contact with prey, the other tentacles will join in to immobilize the prey and to bring it into its mouth. After 10 minutes, the prey has been enclosed in the body cavity. It takes two to three days for the hydra to completely digest its food and to expel the excess water out of its mouth. Notice the hydra has the Daphnia part way into its mouth. A few minutes later, the hydra has eaten the Daphnia. You can see the Daphnia inside the hydra's body. That completes our lab. See you next time.